we need to talk about Dragon Ball, and I'm specifically talking about the child prodigy. Not Goku, not you. You get too much screen time. Nuh uh. I'm specifically talking about Gohan, Goku's son that randomly appeared within Dragon Ball Z. When we first saw Gohan as an audience, we weren't too sure what to expect. However, now that Dragon Ball Z has finished running, plus our most recent form of media was the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, I think it's a fair time to answer this question, was Gohan a flop? Now let's quickly take a step back, because we've had plenty of instances where we see Gohan looking great, and some where he does not. And from beginning to end, we should talk about what we expected to see from Gohan. And well, there's no better place to start compared to when we first saw him within the Saiyan Saga arc. You see, when we first see Gohan within the Dragon Ball Saiyan Saga arc, we knew that he was going to be something. Goku already had his time in the original Dragon Ball series, so most of us weren't really surprised by Goku's return compared to seeing that he has a son. So not only was Gohan a hybrid Saiyan from Goku, he was also the successor of Goku. I mean, Gohan had a Dragon Ball on his hat which was immaculate drip. And when we first showed that he did have a high power level against Raditz, we thought he was going to be big time. And for the most part throughout the series, he did have a whole lot of moments. For example, look at how he carried himself within the Planet Namek Saga arc. But not this moment, this moment was actually crazy. During in this arc, there was a moment that Gohan was going toe to toe with Frieza. Frieza! Plus, it wasn't even Frieza's first form, it was his second. And Gohan was really giving Frieza the work at this time. Now, it could also be true that Frieza simply got caught off guard and wasn't ready. However, he was already beating up everyone else around him, so I don't want to assume he just wasn't ready. Plus, this arc really started off with Gohan being the main focus. I mean, Krillin too, but we really don't need to talk about what happened to him. But for most Gohan fans, we all know his peak happened when the next arc started. During the Cell Saga arc, Gohan finally reaches Super Saiyan. Now, during this time, he is shown to be the fourth Super Saiyan of the lineup, but he is also the youngest Super Saiyan to ever exist. But I mean, being the fourth is also a pretty big feat. And as you all know that have seen this arc, Goku decided to do something very, very dumb. Instead of choosing to fight Cell himself, he decided that Gohan is actually stronger than him. And because of this moment, we're treated with not only the new, but the real evolution of a Super Saiyan. Gohan was the first character to go Super Saiyan 2, and he had a real moment when he saw 16 get destroyed. I'd argue that this is the peak of Gohan, and it's really hard to say that because Gohan had a lot more moments after this. Now what am I referring to? Well, Gohan did have a huge role within the Buu Saga arc. Now let's be completely honest here, people like Saiyans, and well, it's just true that a Saiyan form will sell. So when we're introduced to Mystic or Ultimate Gohan within the Buu Saga arc, it just didn't hit the same. Please don't get me wrong, we all wanted to see Gohan in his new Goku attire throw down. But at the same time, this is a huge drastic change compared to Super Saiyan 2. To us as a viewer, Gohan shows up with no visual change saying that he is stronger. And I mean, it's pretty cool to see that Gohan is talking that trash. But as you know, Gohan quickly loses once Buu absorbs Gotenks. And then all the training he simply did just doesn't matter. They even teased us with a Gohan and Goku fusion, which would have been pretty rad. But Gohan decides that he's not the main character and says he's dropping this Patara earring. So overall, it just kind of sucks to see Gohan end this way in Dragon Ball Z. However, Gohan does get blessed with some new super features in the future. However, the first one he got was actually ridiculous. You see, Gohan decided that he's simply not training anymore. And I understand that Gohan's character is supposed to be not a martial artist compared to wanting to use his brain. But in that case, just take him out of the story. It hurts to be a Gohan fan more when you're watching him get embarrassed like this. And seeing this, it tells us it doesn't matter what the character does in the future, the character's heart's simply not in it. And now, it's time for me to finally rail the newest Dragon Ball Super movie. The superhero movie specifically stars Gohan and Piccolo. And if this was a couple of years back, it would be perfectly fine. But this movie, yet again, stars Piccolo doing his best to expose Gohan for not training. And let's be completely honest, I do not care if Gohan says he was training or not, he just looks like he wasn't. And plus, how many times does the character have to train to end up not training to train and then not train again? Gohan's goal is to be a white collared man, and that is perfectly fine. But in that case, Bandai, let's do our best to not make Gohan relevant again. 
You see, it's like one of those stupid balloon games where they're trying to pick out who's going to be the main character. But for some reason, Bandai always wants to pop Gohan's balloon. You can pop Goku some more, that thing's already turned to rubber. And I mean, hell, Vegeta could have his own movie too. But no, instead they decide to give Gohan a brand new form. And this form was not given to him through any awakening or anything like that. Instead, they just recreated what happened during the Cell Saga arc and then boom, here it is. Listen. Gohan himself had an amazing run, and a lot of us are happy with what he became. But instead of constantly forcing us Gohan time and time again, use the characters that you have already established that want to be fighters, and the best character I can think of that replaces Gohan is Goten. I mean, he is literally Goku's son that wants to fight. To me, it just doesn't make a lot of sense, and I really believe in beating a dead horse. If Gohan's leg was broken during the Buu Saga, then let him stay there. There's no reason to break all four of his legs and trample on his body. We would much rather this character be a memory of greatness than force down our throats now. Even when this Beast Gohan form was shown, people did not care about how he got it. Instead, people were complaining about how stupid his hair looked. I promise you, people were not doing that against Super Saiyan 2. Hell, they weren't doing it against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So all in all, Gohan's memory and legacy is being tarnished. And again, don't get me wrong, it's great to see this character have his moments. But please do not force these moments down our throats. Trust me, man, that Hot Tua stuff, I'm not doing it. Anyway, let me know what you think of Gohan's stories thus far. There's plenty of more Dragon Ball content coming in the future, so we needed to talk about this today. And before you click off, if you want to talk more about Dragon Ball, I have another video for you over here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you there.